Hello, beautiful humans. I seriously so excited to bring you this podcast and this show, F the Rules. F the Rules. I'm done. I'm so done with the rules and the have to and the shoulds. So if you are listening in on all of our platforms and you're not watching this live on YouTube, I recommend you jump on the link and just check this out in YouTube because you will not see me with my makeup on or my gorgeous earrings or my hair or in my beautiful office. I'm actually sitting on the floor, dirty, smelly and sweaty, surrounded in boxes and stuff, um, getting ready to move. And I woke up really freaky today and a lot of the time I'm in control and in my body and I use all the tools and techniques that I teach my clients like I live and breathe them that's how I have evolved and designed my ideal life and how I keep creating but today I was in a funk I was I just could not get in flow even right now I still feel agitated and when I I just caught myself going, I have to do this and then I have to do that and then I have to do that. And it all from the head up, right? And I was like, ah, there's no choice here. Not connected to my body. These are rules. These are rules I've set myself and they need to F off. They need to go. Ah, so, so liberating. So I have worked with um, the beautiful, infectious, alluring, magnetic, the Meg O, uh, for three days now and has really shined a light on the next level where I need to go. So as we work through and we work on the layers, um, we feel engaged for our next leveling up. And I've just noticed there are, today when I got in my funk, I did one of my tools and I was like, oh my gosh, I have five things here. I'm creating the same patterns and here's my opportunity to see this. So this stuff I'm feeling now is my next leveling up. It's not, oh my God, I'm stuck in overwhelm. No, this is the, this is the indication for the next level. So powerful. So the reason I'm so called to share this is I have spent years in what I'm thinking in overwhelm, but interestingly, we have created that for ourselves. And when you can live consciously, and tap into your body and connect with it, shit gets real and you work out, hang on, I can actually control this. I have choices, an abundance of choices, but we need to be able to tap into that. So I want to share with you how you get there when you're just like, F the world, I can't do this anymore, I'm done, I, I feel off, I'm all over the shop. I'm like, ah, that, this, this is what I do. First thing, I just really sit with myself. So that is just connecting with the body and the breath, just as simple as breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. So just do it with me now, just play along. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. And if you can, using your voice. And then if you need to, like, if you feel like you want to move, like move. So. First of all, I connected with my body and I woke up and I was like, oh, and then there's this and then the, and I was like, okay, <laughs> it's not right today. This is a bit freaky. I'm feeling freaky. I'm not feeling in control into my body, body in the breath. So connecting with yourself, first of all, that's the pause. Second, I was like, I need to get my butt to nature because I know nature is where I feel most grounded and most stable. So if I'm not, be able to do that in my head energetically I go where I feel most grounded so for me that is at the to the beach and that's at sunrise feeding the sand listening to the waves just the beauty of the sun coming up like I know I need to get myself to nature if you don't have access to that it's like sit next to your indoor plant whatever you can do um, look at pictures of nature, imagine it, sit in the shower and imagine that it's a waterfall and you're just actually in the rainforest somewhere, like whatever you can do to connect with nature. So that's what I did, grounded with my body, off to nature. 
And then the next thing I did was get my journal out. So I got my journal out, wrote brain dump in the middle, and then I put all the things on my mind that were going on and put a circle around each one. And when I got it on paper, I just went, okay, that's what we're dealing with here. That's what's going on. Now, which ones do I really need to deal with today? What can stay on hold? What's important? And from there, we get to a place of space because then we get to choose. It's on paper, it ain't going anywhere. You don't need to keep remembering it. You don't need to keep reminding yourself. You don't need to keep recalling it. You don't actually need to action any of it. It all just sits there. So if you want to know more about journaling, I have a whole heap of, I think I've got a whole podcast on journaling as well. I do, so check it out. Also have all that information for my clients on the, on the the um, in our portal. So if you want to know more of that about that, let me know. So, you know, even this podcast, I'm like, well, it should be an interview because I do a cycle of interview content, interview content. Today needs to be an interview. And I was like, actually, F that rule. I'm sure there's a lot of other people that are feeling a little bit overwhelmed or a little bit out there, that are a little bit stuck, a little bit not sure what to do, that might really need to hear this content. And there's a lot of people reaching out to me about, you know, their jobs being taken away and not having a sense of freedom or choice around legislation at the moment and what should they do. So every person I'm coming to contact, well, not every let me say 80% of people are just here in their head. So just want to let you know there's a more beautiful way to do life. We can say goodbye to the rules. We can say F the rules and we can start to come from a place of truth and presence and just connect. So, you know, a lot of old coaches would have said we get on live and we present ourselves and I'm like, Actually, no, we don't. We just be human because that's what all other humans are desiring, just to fit in, to be accepted, to be valued, to be okay. So I'm leading in that space. I'm coming out and saying, today I wasn't okay. I was like, I have all these rules. F those. We're starting in you. So body in the breath, connection with the self get grounded into nature. If you can get the stuff out of your head and onto paper, I encourage you to do that. Then step back, spend time with your body and feel into what's really serving you. And when I did that today, I was like, actually, what I wanna do today is just say F the rules. I wanna tell the world it's okay that to say no to the rules. It's okay to follow your heart. It's okay to listen to your body. It's okay to be liberated. Actually, it's a far more fulfilled way to live, yeah? To bring your choices, to, to be empowered. So I'm declaring F the rules day. Today's a F the rules day. Go crazy, have fun. If this lands for you, I would love you to tag me, show me on social media how you are saying F the rules, how you are living your most fulfilled life, how you're connecting with yourself. And if you are finding things are holding you back, like what if I get judged? What, you know, what if there's haters, uh, fear coming up, any of those things? And you're ready, you're ready to take that step and you want someone to show you the way, come with me. DM me and we'll talk. So many different ways we can work together. So many different ways I can connect you with a community of humans doing exactly that. My community and my extended community. So come play. It's going to be fun. Let's work out what's right for you. Take care. God bless. Mwah.